I'm Kristen, and today I want to talk about the number one most asked question to my real estate team right now in 2023, and that is, is it a good time to purchase? Should I purchase? Should I wait? Um, the answer isn't going to be the same for all of you. I'm going to throw out that disclaimer. I'm not trying to talk everyone here listening into buying, but I want to tell you why I'm considering buying and why I do think it's a good time. I bought a house in September as an investment property, and I'm looking at buying a condo for myself right now. I'm actually in the process of getting pre-approved. So number one factor for me is in Orlando, I'm looking at a minimum, minimum of $2,000 a month in rent. Um, over two years, that's $48,000. It's a lot of money to just spend. So for me, I would rather invest $48,000 into a property, even if I don't live there forever. Um, to me, I'd rather invest that and hopefully one day, you know, make some money on it, break even. We know historically over time, it's going to go up, not short term necessarily, but long term. So to me, I would rather invest than spend the $48,000. That's the number one factor. Interest rates, I wish they were lower, but they aren't. And the reality is these rates are here to stay for a little while, for at least two years we're predicting. So that's where that two year mindset kind of comes into play for me. Um, where I'd be, I'm going to be in the same position, most likely six months from now, 18 months from now, 24 months from now. So the interest rates are what they are. I hope one day I can refinance, but I'm going to look at a little bit less expensive property just to, um, just to feel comfortable with it. I don't want to be uncomfortable with my mortgage. I'm not buying at the top of my mortgage either. I'm buying somewhere towards the middle or the bottom of my pre-approval zone. There is more inventory on the market in Orlando. That's the reality. I believe it's increased 157% from this time last year. It's a huge number. We had six weeks worth of inventory at this time last year. Right now we have three and a half months. So there is more inventory. Now we are seeing multiple offers on houses with swimming pools, houses that are highly updated. I'm willing to buy a house that needs a little paint. I'll put in a little elbow grease in order to get some equity. So my odds go up of getting closing costs paid, rate buy downs, if I'm willing to buy a house that needs a little TLC. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna budget that into you know what I can afford. So those are the some of the reasons why I think right now could be a good time for you to purchase. There are opportunities for a lot of the buyers that are willing to buy those uglier homes, homes that have been on the market a little bit longer. You just kind of have to get creative with what you're offering on right now. So I hope this is helpful. And any of you that are house hunting or thinking about house hunting, I'm happy to speak with you.